What is up, everybody? It's ADB95, and I got uh, Herp Derpa with me. Hello. We're commentating uh, this new match, Castor versus Pekis. This is the uh, first gr uh, game for Group B after a bunch of games for Group A. So we got yeah, Castor. Yeah, we had a lot of catching up to make up there. And Group B has even more catching up to to do with the Angurios games, but um, Castor is All here to, time. To, 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 to get some points after his uh, quote-unquote rough start with the uh, loss to Angurio and the draw to, to Darot. Now he's backing up in a game. I guess he is aiming for the uh, maybe second place or something like that. Well, Pekis is um, at his last game of the season. He already has three points, so he cannot qualify to the playoffs, but he still had a lot of fun, which is what matters. Yes, and if he can beat Caster, he could still prove himself to be a very worthy player. I mean, he did win uh, another very um like very tough opponent which is iron fox you won the finish derby I, which and if i was pecky's going out with just one win at, um and that win is after against your 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 your, your finish companion I, I would i would be good with it <laughs> oh yeah and it is peckers to start on hill base yeah oh yeah we forgot about the the maps we got hill base here we haven't seen hill base since week one i believe it's i think it's always came up as the third map and every time it was passed up yeah that's the problem with um with the map pool right now it's sometimes don't, there's there's always some maps that always get drawn as the third one and they don't get played yes well well, well 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 actually is another one of these and we hadn't had we haven't had well 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 once in the in the league so far well, you will see it when my episode comes out later. Yep, I but wanted to give you that. We're focusing on this today. <laughs> yeah, and uh, Pecky started with a not good cluster. I think he was like four, 33 damage or something, so not very good. And this is a very unfortunate spawn, considering how far apart they could have been. Yeah, Castor just got the, the best spawn possible to get that Trank on Trank. Uh, medical Medic action, not Trank on Trank. <laughs> Well, we'll keep it a PG here. <laughs> <laughs> but also need to keep in mind that I believe three health crates do come in in this level. Three? Wow, I didn't remember I the third one. I believe each and I believe there's one in each corner and one where the bridge usually would be. Mm. We gotta have you more uh, in commentary. You know a lot of stuff about crates. But I didn't I practice. Definitely. I didn't practice this map because I haven't had it yet. So. That's I remember I'm... playing once for you and Bobby, and Caster, I think. Mm. But look at Caster, he... oh no, Pecky's here, doing this uh, mm. pretty good TNT, which is going to stick them together. But, unfortunately, it's Gwendia's turn, and he's not close enough to body block the cluster. It was worth the try to try to get the paratrooper very close to the Grenadier, so maybe he could have prevented this from happening, but it didn't work. But Caster oh. also... Failing! Also... Uh... That's surprising. That's very that was a surprising. Good angle. Hmm. Oh, hopefully it's not due to input delay here, but I mean, I can't. Not pausing. I can't imagine Castor missing that 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 uh, input that bad. So it, yeah. it probably is an input lag. Maybe I'm giving him too much credit. I know he will he will get back back at me for what I just said, but. <laughs> Oh, yes. <laughs> and it also need to know that it is a snow map, so that could put some stuff on the game. Although there is no snow going down right yeah. now. That is true. It's a tough choice for oh. Pecky's here. He decided to get a 30 oh. on, the, on the medic. But unfortunately, it did not stop on the body block. Yeah. Which could have been his, uh, his objective there. I didn't even think about that. I believe it was, and it does look like Castor is going for the high ground. And uh, it makes sense because I think Pecky's no, Pecky's does have a paratrooper, so. Yes, I, I believe in the him. fifth position. Fourth. Fourth. So he should be next. So he's up next. And he's on the right side of the minimap. You can see him right now. Yeah. Both grenadiers are still pretty healthy. Yeah, they are. Uh, both grenadiers struggle to make a a big move. So. Now the question is here for Pekka's, does he knock Castor off the high ground? Seems like he's going for it, but honestly I would not care about the paratrooper right now. We got more important... Uh, that's not gonna... 
Uh, the angle of the jetpack is very deceiving. It was even it was more than it was uh, than it was needed yeah. to get there. Will he have enough time to get oh. a scoop? Maybe. He have about three seconds. He does. But that's just enough time. So he gets him down. No full damage. And now, though. Castle, you have to use another jetpack if he wants to collect the health crate that spawns there. Oh, I, I I forgot about that. That's where the, the health crate falls down. Good good call. First health crate. <laughs> I well, remember that from Machino's match. Oh yeah. I, well, I, I, I'm clearly not prepared for this match, so I'm gonna I'm, maybe I'm gonna let you in the driving seat, Harper. Yeah. Don't worry. I don't have a license. <laughs> <laughs> and I, I'm always interested to see who they choose to poison when they can't get a double. I mean, for Caster, it's much easier because uh, Pecky's medic is subdued. Yeah. But at the same time, that does mean Wait, that Peckis, the uh, Peckis doesn't have a scout. Wow, like, that's interesting. I'm kind of happy to see that because I'm personally, I very much dislike the scout meta. Well, you're talking, you're saying that to the wrong person. Hey, but that's why we're commentating together. I know. <laughs> oh, that could be a free turn. Ooh, self damage, it but be. definitely worth it. Although, oh, it's gonna be although. about forty-three damage on his own grenadier. Could you imagine if he had gotten a 40 and then that one from the from the Grenadier coming back would have killed him? There's, oh wait, I forgot about these two health grids. Well, I the Grenadier takes here. itself out but does manage to get a 20 on the other Grenadier. I'm sure Caster yep, was not oh. going for that. But Caster will collect the first health grid of the match. And it's we'll a 50. I don't know if that's guaranteed or if it's random. I think in this map they're all 50s. Oh, that's right, because it will place uh, Death Ball, didn't it? Well, it remains to be seen whether uh, an enemy, um, a medic was the right choice to give that health crate. I mean, it it, it, it kind of had to be that way because, well, the medic was the medic's turn. Yeah, so but you can't the medic... let the other player have it. Exactly, but when the medic runs out of tranquilizers, he's just a uh, an HP sponge, if you will. Uh yeah, I kind of call him a glorified gaunt. That's a great name, honestly. And this is a great call, trying to get extra damage from the gaunt's death. Pekis is definitely not playing bad. Um, I would say he's uh, playing even better than he did in Gruntly, despite yes, the he fact that he only has three, only three points. We've seen before that points don't matter much. It it comes down to training and just kind of point of mind. Yeah. In fact, I would argue that everybody has improved definitely since last year uh, yes. from Hogs of War League. Yes, very much so. And Caster once again grabbing another health crate. Yeah. Because Caster knew that uh, his paratrooper was going to be first. And he has two of them, so he can collect both the health crates that spawn in these corners. Oh, he has two. That's right. Yep. So this, oh yeah, this is not even the one that got caught, that got knocked down from the from that mountain. No, he was, I believe. Oh yeah, because we had a full circle by now. Yep. But Pegasus, both his zappers are on good health, but most. And he, had the, he has the paratrooper up there with also full health. Yes, and Ben only had 101, so... He's still trying to get that medic out of the way, which I don't really get. Yeah, especially in the situation he's in now. He's not being a threat, and once he runs out of those tranquilizers, you don't have to worry about him with your big weapons. I would have gone for the paratrooper, just to knock his damage down. Exactly. Because you also have to oh. think that if he breaks that body block, then Castor immediately... Oh no, he didn't collect it. But it's a scout, so he does have that extra turn to grab it. And the paratrooper from Peggy's is next, right? I believe so. Well, it's yep, right behind him. Yep, so now he's bumped up to he 180. He could also and... go for the other one, honestly. He could, but I don't know if he'd have any time left to do anything else. But he's gonna do... He... Something. Going for damage here? Is he really trying to, like, still, still trying to break the body block? 
But he took too long to make up his decision, so he has to go so, for something yeah. else. It would make sense to hit yeah. the medic. That's not gonna hit. That's gonna hit right there, yeah. Like, it would have made sense if the medic was on low health. Like, I'm killing him to, so I don't skip a turn. Yes, but he's still at 100. He could still take a hit. He's at 83, I think. Oh, yeah, that's right. That's right. I forgot. He damaged himself. And so... Caster grabbing yet another health crit. And that's the third out of four. So it's a total of 100 advantage. Yeah. For Caster. On top of the fact that I think he dealt a bit more damage than Pekis did so far. Yeah. His Gonadio is gone and. His... That's a miss, though. Yeah, that's a way short. But Pekis loses it on turn, so it doesn't matter too much. Although. Oh. Front D. <laughs> As we apparently got Caster got to rename his pig. He's going to tranquilize a third and last time. <laughs> and that's a very unfortunate name. <laughs> and now the question is, he needs to remember about the scout as well. Also, I just forward. noticed that Caster positioned his pigs on the high ground. Uh, both of them. Yes. So that sappers can't reach him. I mean, they still have the shrapnel grenade option, but he is focusing too much on this medic right now. A bit too much. This will separate them, but your medic's gonna survive it. I was gonna say oh, that. Me. I was gonna say that uh, both of us, both of Pekis's sappers, are still a bit, uh, still good on TNTs, but that one was just his last one. Yeah. I think the other one still all still has all three of them. I believe so. Because all he but, did was try to break the body block on the on the medics with these shrapnels. Yeah, and Caster got rid of the high ground. Interesting. What is he trying to do? I guess he's just not trusting his bazooka skills enough. I mean, I I understand to a point, but with the high ground, they are you have to make them rely oh, on yeah, shrapnels. Yeah, I'm I'm pretty sure he's making some math right now. He's doing some math right now. That's that wouldn't make any sense other way. Yeah, he is putting these two close enough together to do damage. Uh, he was on 97, right? Yes. So he's now on 72. I wonder what he's I... thinking. Uh, those two are next to each other now, so he can get double damage. Yeah, yes, now is it, it is a good time to kill the medic. Because he still hasn't yeah, and... skipped his turn. And try and push the medic right in between you guys, so if he hits you, he's still damaging himself. Let's see. Uh, yeah, it's all depending on where he lands. He has successfully brought the medic down to 61. Oh, okay. Well, yes, we know he's dead. Why? Okay, well, I that's guess the been taken care of. Life. That poor medic had a very sad life. He's been hit by both sides of the of the of the war. Yeah, but with that, it is now a 4v3, and that I would say a double poison. Well, it doesn't even need to be a double, that guy's also already poisoned. Yeah, but 15 damage is 15 damage. Yeah, you're right, it's, it could be useful, but that's a bit hard. I, I, would, I would say you have to throw it in the very center, so that uh, the, the radius gets them both. Yeah, I was thinking about climbing up on the hill next to them, and rolling it down. But he still gets the 15 on this guy, and now his time is... Although the, the position he chose is a bit better, because, yeah, there's another yeah. two purple pigs there. That could have been a the recipe for disaster if you went up here up here. Yes, it very well could have been. I, I believe I'm, that paratrooper is right uh, next to right there is out. Oh, you could action. have gone for No, that's gonna push next to his own pig. Oh that's bad. Should have gone for the bazooka right away. Yep. I'm gonna try to hit the medic. He just wants this medic dead, although he is out of the now. But look at that. But that is that is a body block, so... And but I we'll think Ninja there. is very close to being next. I believe he is next, actually. But we... He needs to remember this guy has a hundred team. The Medic is dead, the Grenadier is dead, so yes, the Sapper is next. Yeah, and this Paratrooper has 180 still, though. That Sapper, although, is out of TNTs, so that's another problem for Pekis. 
But as we've seen, shrapnels can really turn it around if they can land them. What, Cast what is Caster doing here? I don't know. I would have stayed on high ground. And damage but I guess he real, wants to... He does have one jetpack left. What is he? Oh, okay. He's trying to damage the sapper with still full health, I believe. I believe so, but that's a good hit because that's. Ooh, I don't even know if we can make it all the way to them now. I that's think a long ways barely hard. enough, but well, the problem is, yeah, he has to go for a shrapnel. Yeah, what don't is he doing? That no, okay, I was, it, I was gonna yeah. say. Yeah, take these two out. Yeah, try go, go for Ben. Yeah, go for bed, because the Ordoi obviously will die from the shockwave. Yeah. Let's see, if you can get a 50, that may be a good, uh, a double kill. Oh, that looks good. There it is. Oh, he got the 50 on the wrong pick, though. I think he still got a 50 on the, on the paratrooper as well, because look how far he flew away. Oh, that's... Oh my yeah. god, that's, yes, that's exactly what happened. So only 11 health, but trying to finish that off, you have to know when to do it. Hmm. Uh, I think... I mean, he does have a paratrooper. I'm trying to remember if he has jetpacks left. I, I don't think Pegasus' paratrooper has any left. I think he used his last one. So this is uh, all. This is basically Pegasus' last hold. This guy all, all still has all three of his TNTs, I think. Yes, but he's way back here, so his... And he's, he's gonna be able to hit the scout. Caster, yeah, Caster still has that full help scout. He's definitely going to be able to reach the scout. He's, he's right behind the corner. Yes. It, it, maybe try and push him close to his own the body block. Yeah, maybe even close to his sapper who is about to die from poison. That's a great call. Oh, but it's the, it's the scout next, isn't it? I do not no maybe no 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 the the paratrooper is next. No, the paratrooper just went. Yeah, that's, you're right. Yeah. You're right. I was about to say the scout more than likely is just gonna take this guy and get a free turn. Yeah, I thought the I thought the paratrooper was the other one. Oh it, uh, yeah, it is, t it is two paratroopers. So I I did. Uh, <clears throat> yeah, the scout's just stuck in between them right now. <laughs> <clears throat> Sorry. Why is he doing this? I don't know what Caster's plan here is. So he's just not doing it now? Maybe he wants to do it next turn? He could save it for another pig to do, but his other pigs have to do 20 damage. Oh, he's got 180. Oh yes, my god. He's the problem right now. Piggy has to think about his move carefully. Does he have any jetpacks left? I think That's he does, question. actually. Oh, he just wants to finish him off? Oh, jump button doesn't seem to be working. Oh, okay, then in that case, we're gonna have to pause. Okay, we fixed the issue. Apparently, there was no need for the jump button for her, for her peckies until now. But he's now trying to kill his own sapper, which I don't think is a good idea. Oh, he is out of jetpacks. But he's, but he's he got could. one left. If he hits. Yeah, he could take out the paratrooper. He does, but uh, the sapper yeah. is still on one. Uh, yeah, I believe he is, yes. Oh no. Oh no. Oh. He was on 21. I was convinced he was on yep. 22, but... That's why I forgot the scout had dropped on his head once before as well. That is actually a good move then, because if he hadn't got any jetpacks, he would have to waste the turn to uh, kill him anyway. And in doing so, he also prevented himself to, from losing a turn. Yeah, but that paratrooper is still a big problem. Yeah. And I don't know how much the scout has. I'm guessing 90, because he only took a TNT. Yeah, yeah he has 91. What are you doing? Don't tell me. <laughs> don't tell me you're thinking of doing what I'm thinking. No, you have to save the shrapnel for the 180 guy. Yeah, this is... I always hate when they angle it down, too. Well, from if you ask Axby, it seems to work more if you if when you do that. I, I suppose I just I never try to. I just leave the default angle. I haven't either. I don't know how that works. What do? We... Going Cast... for the head jumps, of course. Yep. Caster's uh, square button is definitely working. 
Oh, okay, that makes sense. Cool. Only has 40 left, so... I, and then I I'm, hate to I'm... say it, but I... Yeah, I hate to say it, but I think Castor has won this round pretty handily. Yeah, with 180, yeah. so... Uh, there's no way that, uh... Pekis can cheese it out of this one. Especially since the Sapper is out of shrapnels, the only thing that could possibly do that much damage in one turn. Yeah. And That's we've seen way too much. <laughs> it might get some. Nope, not even five. So I'm guessing he still he's, has one jetpack left too. So. Probably gonna end up with a bang now. I think that's what they were planning. Ooh. Oh, that was close. Okay. Cass is doing that a lot, just barely dropping it in time. Yeah, and on input lag, that's very risky. Yes. You might get a spike and mess your turn up. Which, on this yep. case, is not that big of a deal, because, again, we're pretty sure that Castor has got this on the back. Oh. Wait, do you say on the back or on the bag? I think it's on the bag. I don't remember that quote. It's probably a British thing. <laughs> if I think... Okay, no, Peck is... Yep. Peck is... Has to Castor. Yeah, he's going out with a bang. Uh, yep. Oh, jeez. I didn't expect <laughs> him to explode like that. Wait, he did? Oh, it looked like he did, but I guess that's just my eyes deceiving me. I've been awake no, for but, a while. Yeah, I mean, it w they would have just gone so far away if, if he had exploded. Yep, and Caster wins bad. with 180 paratrooper alone on this mountain. That's pretty funny. Damn it, Kraken. Arriving the legend's hell. Yep. And as you can see, the purple pig is celebrating the first win, and we're going to go back to the second map, which is... I one forgot. way system. Thank you. A one way system. See you there. And we're back for one way system, one of the cruelest maps so far in this year's league. And yes. uh, I just realized that I told, I, I said that as you are in commentated with me, so. I'm As sorry about here. that. <laughs> we had a pretty crazy game there. Yes, this this map has been has proven this year to be fickle, at least. Yeah, there has been no normal game on this map. I still feel bad about winning like that, by the way, but let's not talk about that. I had fun. And that was my goal. <laughs> of course, of course. Guster will have to go first, as Pekis has um, started the previous round. They're both, of course, going for a extremely um, offensive lineup with two sappers, a grenadier, and a, a paratrooper in the first four pigs, and then a medic in fifth. So we're just going to see a lot of exploding around. Yeah, and potential insta kills. Yeah, that's a that's a must on this map. We had like the yeah. shortest game on uh, this map, which it was Machetino versus Nui. I believe it lasted like five minutes. I am which... hoping to see Pegasus beat that record. You mean beating Castor or losing? <laughs> no, beat Castor in a second amount of time. But that's yep. a very unfortunate start. But that's Thanks going to be a restart. I, I, I forgot about that too. <laughs> yeah, so did I. I'm so glad they remember better than we do. <laughs> that's how it happens. And oh my god. Oh, paratrooper against paratrooper to start. And the paratrooper is on the wrong side of the map. Yeah, they're having a standoff, but one is clearly oh. in, in advantage. But Castor leaving him. Oh, there. and look at the look at the mini map. Castor has two pigs on that top island there. Oh yeah, but I guess Castor saw this opportunity to get this uh, close uh, double hit. Oh yeah, go for that. But if Pekka sees that, that could be two of Castor's pigs dead in one turn. Mm. And Castor is going for raw fish after all. I think he'll survive that, though. Yeah, but only barely. I'm not sure. Yeah, he will survive. Yeah, about 22 health. 29. Uh, 29. And Feng Shui gets the move away from here. That's pretty good. Yes, but where will he go? He can't reach there with a TNT, I guess. He can hit this guy, though. No, he can't oh, anymore. He did not to. Uh, if he, he's, he's going, going there, these two, it seems like. he's going there, but he has to, he will have to do it with a shrap now. I, I guess his main goal would be get rid of the grenadier. 
which is makes sense. A well placed 30 could make the the grenadier slip down in a in a in a place where the game just makes him blow up. But that also gets a 20. The grenadier, the grenadier is swimming. swimming. But where is he going? We didn't know where. He's though. heading to the island on the corner. He will survive. Oh, with 18 That's health. Bad. Damn. And he can still attack from that corner, unfortunately, for Peckins. Yeah, and the sapper there didn't get did get the 20, but didn't fall down. That would have been huge. That would have been amazing for Cat for Peckins, not Caster. I mean, yeah, if he if he had gone both of the things, that would have been great. But Caster knows this jump. He just showed it to us. I, I, mean, I, I guess... think we can well show the last year. I guess if he had fallen down, we would he would have just. Uh, Circled it around to go back to these two. Yeah, I, I'm actually not I'm sure surprised. if the grenadier will die a lot with this one. I think he will, but I'm surprised he's going for that angle because on the other side of that is the insta kill area. Here they have a chance of swimming. Oh no! I, now oh. the grenadier is dead. Even if he would yep. have survived, I think. Or maybe he made it. Oh my yep. god, that's Apple terrible! Kill him, though. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Wow. That is very unfortunate for Peckins. Yeah, that's a double kill in turn two. He has to knock down this engineer to a more dealable spot. I think he's... No, I thought he was aiming for the barrel, but he's just making him go down. The problem is, a, an experienced player as Caster, like Caster, will know a way out of there. There is a way out, but can he do it with the input delays? It is a tricky way to do it even without. Well, I can tell you... Oh my god, how did he get a 9 on himself? Just very unfortunately. Oh, what do you do now? I mean, uh, he's, he's going for it. Yeah, of course. And it doesn't seem to be too difficult. Oh, well, he's just going for this. Alright, yeah, he's right next to the water there. Yeah, of course. Ooh, that's too that's short. That's enough power, though. Uh. Only 33. If I were Pekka's, I would just leave that Grenadier in that corner for now. Exactly. Now, it, it, oh, but it can get this. Yeah, I would grab the TNT first and then come back for the trade. Which, which is ironic because, oh, well, he's doing exactly that. They're, I swear they're not oh, listening to us. Or maybe he realized that he just doesn't have enough time. What is he doing? Oh, he's trying to push the medic more towards that corner without putting himself Makes in the body sense. Um. Which is funny, because the double kill made it so that uh, Pekis had his medic going first. Yes, and it does. Is Caster going for this? Yes, he is. Oh yeah, he's going for the medic. It is a bit... Uh, it is hard uh, You did this. it, though. But I think his medic is still close enough to be hit by this TNT. No, I don't think so. Nah, he's far enough. Yeah, he looks just very out of range. That TNT is not going to reach, go. definitely. The Pekis is on two, three pigs, and one of them has only on 20 health. Unless he can get a mm. miracle kill. Oh! Okay. <laughs> That's a first. <laughs> I've never seen that happening, either. I, I knew it was always possible, but I never expected to see it happen, let alone in a league match. Well, that's the first time for everything, I guess. And it always happens here. <laughs> On one way system? It, it seems like it. <laughs> oh, Peggy's just trying to jump. Oh, that was oh, good! That was, that was good! It. He has one more chance to go for it. But then what? Then what? He just have to go for it. He does yeah. seem to like doing this shrapnel thing, but he will kill his own parachute oh. there. Oh no, he didn't, I think. That's a good 50. Oh no, he did. Yep. Caster misses the turn. Oh my god. <laughs> and he has a chance to trank him back again. Yeah, but I don't think at this point Caster will care. So maybe he can... Peckins is down to two pigs. Yeah. Actually, I'm pretty sure he can trank them both before they have a chance to retaliate. Since it's 5v2. Yes, he, can. he might get some damage here. Yeah, he might. Oh, he's like making that. sure he doesn't slide down. He's keeping the body block, which yeah. I guess is smart. But 
the front D again has one enemy left to kill, and then it will probably be over for Peckies. So, this no, is starting think. to look like I'm thinking Caster might actually get a survivor bonus here. Hmm, eh, it's a possibility. But Peckies might go for the Grenadier here on 18. If I were him, I would, just so Caster wouldn't get that. Okay, so this thing is extremely hard to get. Like, hitting the bazooka, triggering the barrel without making the pig go away is very but hard. But it triggers the other barrel, so... Well, he did. He was clever mm. about it. I think he's still alive, just barely. Nope, he's dead. Nope. So it's a 5v1. Okay. If I was Pekka's at this point, I would just go for the Grenadier, just so Caster doesn't get a survival bonus. Mm. I mean, he can get two free turns out of this. He can trank the... The, the sapper is right there. You could get the, the the TNT and do some damage. He's not completely done, but his chances are very slim. Yeah, very low. Caster. He's yeah, he's just for damage. For damage. I'm surprised he got two out of that one. Yeah, that looked like I wasn't gonna hit the second one, but brings Caster's medic down to 52, and his engineer will have to make a bit of a run here. Just a bit. The thing is, um, one-way system is clearly supposed to be like a map where you can't move much, but uh, if you know the tricks, you can basically get anywhere. And Yeah, I think we've proven that even though most maps where well, you're not supposed to run around, it's, if you know what you're doing, you can easily do it. Not every, every single map, but some of them. Definitely. Oh my oh, god, that's, really? that's an amazing oh. trap now. That was just an amazing trap now. Yep, and Pekka is, is just going for kills at this yeah. point. I would go for the rifle burst, because it's 50. I mean, I would definitely make him skip a turn. Why not? Let's prolong this. Oh, He might survive, though. Oh, he does. Just barely. Just, barely. Three. just enough to, to skip a turn, I guess. But it's not his turn yet. The Grenadier can? Yeah, he can hit him from here. Just got yeah, to take just a little walk in. Just has to walk up. Oh, it's not that hard. Yeah. I think this is good. This could be the last turn. I wonder if they'll fix those in we heated. Pretty sure they will, because then again, one way system kind of loses his point. Yeah, it it, it is clearly not supposed to happen. Maybe but... Caster will this will kill his own medic though. So... Oh yeah, guaranteed. No, not yeah. guaranteed. Maybe he will be a six. Yeah, just barely. Six. Okay. So, Caster doesn't get. No survival get, uh, bonus. Yeah, no survival bonus for Caster, but he still wins this game 2-0 and jumps to 10 points, I think. Caster, uh, I believe so. Yeah, and Pecky uh, ends this league as three at at three points. Not too bad. He was the uh, Grunt League finalist, so uh, he is still not as experienced as the as the other guys, especially not as Caster. I mean the. Castor is a master. Yeah. He so, is the original champion. Yeah, but I think he can he can be uh, happy about uh, how his league went. I mean, he, he certainly sounded like he had fun every single match. So I think yes, that's that's, I, it, that's more important. Yes, it is very much important to have fun, and he did play very well in some of the matches. So from uh, ADB ninety five and Herp Derp, uh, we'll see you next match.